What up y'all, welcome to Jeff Does What, where today I'm going to share with y'all tips and tricks on this new Calmaker B4 Fiber Laser. In this video, I'm going to show you the amazing Calmaker B4 Fiber Laser, which is a compact powerful and versatile machine that can grape on various materials such as metals, plastics, leathers, and so much more. The Callmaker B4 is a fiber laser, which means it uses a laser beam that's amplified by glass fibers to help create high intensity output, which allows this to be to engrave much faster and deeper and more accurate than other lasers. First of all, it has a handheld automatic lifting design, so you can Raise and lower this are we have up there as well, which means it's easy to adjust the height to different objects depending on what you're, whether it's a business card or you're needing something higher up on there. Secondly, the Callmaker B4 also comes with two different size lenses. We have the 110 by 110 installed on here, and then we also have a 200 by 200, which means it gives you more flexibility and precision for whatever object you're working with. For you're wanting to do something small, or you say you're doing a picture, all you gotta do is swap out these lenses. Third, which I'm most excited about, this is able to use Light Burn. There's a lot of other programs out there. I can use them. Do I like to use them? Not so much. Light Burn on the other hand, which is what I initially used whenever I first got into laser graving, so it is the program I'm most familiar with and that makes a big difference when you're engraving or just creating anything in general whatever program works best for you is what i recommend using which light burn is what i like so that's what i'll be using also with this we are able to connect this with usb or wi-fi or even have an app the call maker b4 it's a great fiber laser that can handle a wide range of engraving tasks, ideal for the hobbyist or the commercial application. Like I said, that's where this is gonna fly past my other laser engravers due to the fact this is a commercial unit. And when in the process of that, if I'm working on something, say I'm engraving numbers and it's I gotta go one after another. With the software and the help of a foot pedal, I can set my piece on there once it's all jigged out, click my pedal, it engraves it, change out pieces, click it again, onto the next one, and it will keep incrementing them numbers as long as you're up, you know what you're doing in your software. And also, this machine has a rotary truck. So what we have here is an 83 millimeter chuck that can hold a variety of rings, bracelets, tumblers, whatever you can widen this out to fit in this truck it's going to make it happen let me rewind a little bit and show you how i put this together there's not much to it but just in case you're wondering what all is involved in this it's not a whole lot check it out now let's get this unboxed and set up Of course, like I said, we got all of our manuals, a nice ruler right here. Actually got some good weight to it. And we get to the heart of our system. We got all of our wires, some sample stuff, lens, cables, more cables. This unit is heavy. Let me get out of the packaging and I'll be right back with y'all. Now, as we have this unboxed, as you see, there are quite a few parts here, but not as many as compared to some of the diode lasers on the market. There is some assembly to this, but not just a whole lot. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get this together. Y'all can somewhat watch me. I'll somewhat try to explain as I'm doing it. I do have the instructions right here because this right here, it is a pretty 
pricey unit and I don't want to mess anything up on it. But what this thing can do, I mean, it's a commercial fiber laser. Calm Maker B4. I mean, it's in the name. This thing is all here. It is heavy, huge working space. Let's get this thing together. Now, very first thing we're going to do, we're actually going to get this rod to come out. Like I said, it's easy to come out. And this does have a groove, so we want to make sure one of these Allen keys are set up on there. So, whenever we tighten this down, it is on a nice flat spot. It helps if we loosen the Allens. And once I have it on there, I'm going to tighten that down. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take four Allen screws and line them up on this shaft or the main arm coming up. We'll get these all lined up and tighten them down. Now, I'm not fully putting these tight just yet. I wanna make sure everything's screwing in like it should. That way, if something happens to be off, it's easy to move. But once I have everything loosely in there and tight, then I'll go through and tor uh, torque them all down. Next, we're gonna take this, get this lined up on this plate up here. And with the smaller Allens, do the same thing. Get them all lined up and tighten them down. Next thing we gotta do, we gotta put the crank on top. So we'll get this little gasket right there. We got our washer. Go on and slide it into the crank. Find the right size. Allen key. Try this again. And we just tighten this down. Now, as far as this goes, the only thing we got left to do is plug into the computer and get all of our software installed. And we'll just follow the step-by-step the -step as it tells us to do that. No, no reason for me to show y'all how to install some software. I mean, you just got to follow step by step till to run. All right, we got the machine all set up. We got the software all installed. And I have just something basic on here. Now, there's a few ways we can run. We can run off this, or we can also come up here and run it on the machine. Like I said, we got our up and down to adjust our point because we want to make, make sure all three dots come to a single line. Now, once we have that, we can come over here, hit read. Now, it puts a box around where my engraving area is. Now, once I'm happy with that, I just hit this, and just like that, we have, if I get to focus, nice little engraving. Now, once again, just to show y'all how quick it is, hit this, make sure everything's lined up, which it is, and we hit mark. And the more you engrave, the deeper it is for metal. And just like that, we now have a dog tag for our new rescue. So what we got going right now is a brass coin on here because I've always wanted my own coins and I found these on Amazon here a while back. And I was thinking what better way than to test out a fiber by making my own coin. As you see, we're getting some great detail on there. Now, that little spot, that's just for me messing up on the artwork. I'm gonna do actually multiple passes on this and to just see how good we can get this to come out. All right, so what I got, on here right now. I got a little small, basically a business card, and I have a picture of my band's logo on here, which has got a lot of detail in there, and we're going to see how well it does. This thing is definitely get pretty quick on here. Like I said, it's set at 75% at 1,000 millimeters a second. And it is just flying through this artwork. And 
as you see, we got nice, great detail on this. And I ain't even wiped off the dust. And it, it is minimal dust on here, because like I said, this is just some basic black business cards. Put on that rotary. Now, this rotary attachment is going to take a little bit of learning to do, but I did manage to get dates and names engraved on this. So this call maker B4 is just a beast of a machine. There is so much more we can actually do with this machine. And if you want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video because I have a few more videos lined up for this machine just because oh, I'm loving this machine so far. Just the little things I've done with it. All I've done is just unbox it, put together, and just ran some basic files. I've yet to really dive into how powerful this machine is. Like I said, we still got so much more to work with this. Like I said, we do have cages to build with this because we can actually take this off use it by hand, set it on whatever we're needing to engrave on and engrave that way as well. But like I said, that's for our next video on this machine, which I know you're going to subscribe and follow this. If there's something special you want to see me run on this machine, let me know and I'll try to get it in this next video. Just comment below and we're going to really do some work with this machine. But until next time, y'all take it easy.